it's not far-fetched to say that employee inside the company could take over the accounts of all of the senators in this room. Hmm. That's just the starter. A whistleblower from Twitter admitting the social media site is far from secure. Peter Mudge Zatko, former head of security at the social media company, testified before Congress today after coming forward to warn of Chinese spies infiltrating the company. The Chinese have spies inside our universities. We know they have them inside our tech sector, our energy sector, our defense programs, our oil and gas industry, our agriculture industry. We've spent a lot of time talking about how the Chinese are using TikTok to gather data on Americans. But perhaps we've been worried about the wrong thing. Turns out Twitter, as we just heard, could be China's Trojan horse. Michael McAndrews is here, served on the FBI's cyber action team, specializing in online uh, intrusions. Almost feels like the tip of the iceberg, huh? You're absolutely correct, Leland. It is just the tip of the iceberg, and it goes on every day. How, it's different, right, to have a Chinese company own things. To have a Chinese spy of somebody who, who works for Chinese intelligence inside major American corporations like Twitter that control the political discourse in America. I, I almost know what's scarier. You, you have to think if they're inside Twitter, they're inside our electrical companies, our energy companies. Uh, they're inside Procter & Gamble. It, did this, or do we understand how, how far reaching the Chinese spying is? Well, the operations conducted by the Chinese are completely infiltrating most of our sectors. I mean, the problem we have right now is in America, private industry runs this country. And we pay a lot of attention to government documents and government infiltrations, but we don't pay attention to the data that private companies such as Twitter or other social media companies have. And I don't feel like they really protect that data the way that they should. So if you get somebody in there that has access then that data can be exposed, and that's a lot of important information on a lot of important people, including American citizens in highly placed positions. It is patently illegal to work for a foreign government as a, a, an agent of espionage in the United States. Uh, obviously, people do it with diplomatic cover, but the people working at Twitter and other Chinese intelligence operatives who've uh, done the same thing at other U.S. companies do not have diplomatic cover. Why aren't they being prosecuted and aggressively gone after by the FBI and the DOJ, you think? Uh, you know, I wish I could tell you the answer to that, Leland. They really should be. They, they need to be prosecuted as spies. A lot of times, the access that granted by these individuals, they may feel is just a normal, everyday part of their job, and they're just providing a little information. But as we know, if you have the proper placement of people at the right time, and you have the patience, you can glean a lot of information. And quite but, frankly, I, I, wait, is this, I, information's scary, right? The fact that they could, yeah. you know, that we get that, the geolocation of senators and on and on. But I'm almost taking this a step further, right? If they've infiltrated Twitter, they've infiltrated America's electrical uh, companies, our power companies, perhaps our oil companies, perhaps uh, Procter & Gamble and the like. It would only make sense, right? Uh, that's yeah. not just about information. That's also about action. You put the right people in the right places, they can shut down power grids. They can turn off American rail lines, uh, American uh, refineries. Uh, they're already in the agriculture industry. They can stop producing certain grain and poison crops. It, it, it feels way more than information. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely correct. It's again, it's placement of people at the right time at the right place. And recently, FBI Director Ray has stated numerous times that we open a case at the FBI, a case is opened on Chinese intelligence sources approximately every 12 hours. That tells you how pervasive it is. So if the FBI can share information with private sector mm. to help them find these moles inside our own infrastructure, then we need to take it seriously and they do need to be prosecuted. Yeah, it, it's a study. Every, every 12 hours, they're investigating Chinese intel. Uh, but we don't hear about an indictment every 12 days, uh, which is bewildering why DOJ doesn't go after him. Hey, it's good to see you, Michael. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Leland. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.